with speculation rife that everyone from Harley Davidson to Triumph to various Indian two-wheeled giants are lining up to buy Ducati from the beleaguered post-dieselgate Volkswagen Group. We shouldn't forget that the really important news is the imminent arrival of their new V4 Superbike. Driven by the firm's desire to recapture their world superbike domination, and in support of their recent renewed focus and resurgent success in MotoGP, the new V4 will be a road bike evolved from the track, rather than a road bike turned racer. The firm's Finnegale has been a rampant success in showrooms, and no slouch on the track in the hands of Shane Byrne and Chaz Davis, but the race department needs access to more than the current 1198cc V-twin Finnegale arc and muster. With that bike already developing an impressive 193 bhp in road trim, and a claimed 215 plus bhp race ready, the firm has to be chasing a tangible step up, which can't come from weight loss, so has to come from power and control. The likelihood is that we'll see more like 205 to 10 bhp in road trim, but over 230 bhp for race teams. With the Pinagay last enormous 112mm piston slapping away at 11,750 revolutions per minute, 116mm in the stocker, redlining at 10,500 revolutions per minute, the Super Quadro is already at its outer limits for bore and rev ceiling harmony. More rev power, and that's why I'm going to